Welcome back to Desk Careers. I'm so excited to bring another incredible guest. Today we are meeting with Rose Butler, who is the operations manager at Air Maniacs in Dubai. Welcome, Rose. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Maria. I'm so excited to be talking with you. I mean, the conversation about work experience is something that's buzzing around the country with the new laws permitting 16 year olds to start working. So we're going to jump into all those details. But I thought before we could, let's go back in time to a younger Rose. Did you always know that working in management would be something that you would want to be doing? Um, yes, I always knew I wanted to be in a management position, but never knew what industry I wanted to go in. So even since I was younger, because I'm the youngest in the family, I was always kind of on top of things. And I always wanted, I kind of always told people how I wanted things to be done. But then I always oversaw as well how things were done. Even in uh, projects when I was in university, I was always the person who delegated the tasks, made sure the tasks were done. I was always following up on people to make sure. And then I was used to always tell them, oh, you have to go review this, review that. It's not up to standard. So um, I've just always been that way, just by nature. Wonderful. What have you learned on the journey? I know your academic interests were science and maths, but what have you learned since that time when you were studying and here you are today in a management position and also in a hiring position. So not only are you managing, but you're also hiring new candidates. What's it like for you right now? Um, so at the moment, it is quite exciting for us at the moment, um, just because things are going quite well that way. But looking back over the years, I never thought I'd be in a hiring position and I never realized how my past experiences, especially working when I was younger, um, how they all build up to what you look for when you hire someone as you get older. So you kind of look back to when you were younger and you see someone, um, just how people behaved in the way that you thought was good for the business. Just as a teenager, you mightn't take much notice of it. And then 10 years on, you're thinking, oh, wow, I understand now why someone didn't like X, Y, and Z. Wonderful. All right, let's talk a little bit about um, Air Maniacs. You're a family adventure park, the first indoor inflatable park in the UAE. This is where families come together to enjoy their time, celebrate, and have a little bit of exercise in a fun, safe environment. What does Air Maniacs want to be known for in the region? So what Air Maniacs, uh, what we want to be known for is that, just especially amongst adults, so we are nostalgic for parents, just um, a lot of people would have had bouncy castles and stuff in their gardens growing up but then we're fresh for children so I see most of the time the parents have more fun than the children do um, and then what our mission was was to create a multi um, a multi-activity sports and recreational facility with ex exemplary service and non-negotiable safety so safety is our number one priority it's what we prioritize ourselves on being is being known as one of the safest parks in the country um because we take we're a lot stricter than in comparison to other parks, but safety is our number one priority. And this is why our customers are continuously coming back because it's just such a safe place to be. Wonderful. And what's really exciting right now is that the UAE has now allowed younger, younger teenagers to start working, which is something that every parent in the UAE is celebrating and not because we want them to work, but because we want them to gain experiences of work. You must be, you know, the phone must be ringing and ringing and ringing with parents asking, what does Air Maniacs look for with young teenagers? So something that I look for is someone that has drive. So someone who is, they're naturally driven and you can see it straight away when they come in. Someone with a good attitude and um, someone as well, they have to be good with children. So we do get a lot of candidates from your school and they are amazing on all aspects. Um, and someone as well with time management, just because I've noticed when they come in, um, a lot of the students they get from your school, I don't necessarily have to tell them what to do step by step. You give them a task and they get it done, which is so important as well when you go, when you grow up and you go into the real world. And um, because no one's like, no one is down my back telling me what to do or when to get stuff done in comparison to what you'd have in school. And as well, um, I look for someone that they're dedicated that they're going to show up, that they're not going to ring in last minute to say that they're not coming in. Um, so something that's really important to us here, it's that people are willing to make the dedication to show up to work and to show up to their shift. 
And what are some of the skills that you look for in terms of like maybe character skills of a young person? Um, so someone who's talkative. Um, I know, especially when you're teenagers, um, people, they tend to be quite shy. They tend to be quite nervous, but they're often, um, they're not long getting out of that bubble. And also team building skills. So we wish, um, as in the UAE, with every company, we have people from a wide variety of nationalities, people from a wide variety of interests, age. And um, basically what we look is for someone that gets along with everybody, that they're not, um, they don't think they're above anybody, but everyone works together as a team, which is the most important thing. And it's the biggest thing for success as well, no matter what industry you go into or what job you do. Um, Amazing. Let's talk a little bit about some of the job tasks that a teenager would be embarking on if they join the team. What are some of the things that you have teenagers doing at Air Maniacs? So um, in particular, we have them hosting parties, which is the number one. Um, so they're a party host for when children come in, they book the birthday parties. So we tend to put the teenagers with them just because um, kids tend to connect with them more. They tend to have a lot of fun. So this includes when they come in, they check that every parent has signed a waiver for every child. So we give them the paper waiver. They make sure no one goes in without a waiver being signed. They do come down to the manager first or the manager in duty just to make sure that everyone has signed in. Um, keeping the kids together um, is a big part just so nobody gets lost while they go inside. Organizing games for them inside the um, inflatables. And then at mealtime, so we have the people in the cafe, they do prepare the meals, but it is the duty of the part-timer to bring out the meal to the children and as well they have to look over the party contract so some people for example they may add an additional hour they may add an additional zip zag or whatever request they made we put them under party contract and booking so just before they do we do a quick briefing with them but it is their responsibility to make sure everything everything goes smoothly for them and um 10 out of 10 times it goes successfully that's brilliant. And how have, what kind of changes have you seen in the organization now that young people are joining the team? So we can see as well, just in particular with the full-time staff, it does, just as we don't have, it gives us the opportunity to hire more part-time staff on a basis when we need it. Um, so we have seen that people, it does reduce the stress level amongst the staff just because we have more hands on board. Uh, we have more people to help out, um, especially during busier times as sometimes um, most of the part-timers have no problem extending the shift just when we're busy, they're down in the court. So it does um, bring a lot of ease to our cost- to my full-time employees. Brilliant. Rose, if you can speak to a parent right now, what would you want them to know about preparing their children for part-time work? So one thing that um, I think is most important is that, so I know some people that think, oh, it's going to affect our studies. But I think it's the developing social skills and a sense of uh, in-group belonging, which is the most important. Because in school, you do group-based assignments and you don't really see the value of them. I know myself, when I was in university, I'd be put into a group of people I didn't know. And I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do here? Um, people you may not get along with. But then when you leave school, you leave the learning environment, you learn that work is basically just one big uh, group, of, group project. Um, so then it does give you the value of teamwork, collaboration and interdependence. So you have to learn as well, which was I was always quite an independent person. So I found it quite difficult for me to learn that I can't do everything on my own. And I think that's most important as well for teenagers to know, because I think um, a lot of pressure is often put on to teenagers that you have to do this, you have to do that. But it's, oh, it's OK to ask for help. And I've learned this later on. Um, but it also helps them foster a sense of responsibility and independence. So um, independence may be from that they're earning their own money. So they're independent. They can spend it how they want. So they think, um, I earned this money. I can do whatever I want with it. But then they also learn the value of money and how easy it is to spend a pound, but how difficult it is to make a pound as well, which I think is the most important. Because I know myself, I didn't learn that until I started working myself. Um, Because I just always thought, oh, you go to your parents. I didn't realize how hard it actually is to make money, which I think is major for teenagers to learn. (laughs) Amazing. Rose, what a pleasure to be speaking to you. And I I know from from my perspective and collaborating with you and having sent uh, two of our students to work at Air Maniacs that 
they've come back feeling really inspired because they feel really proud of their accomplishments outside the classroom. And I think there's a lot to be said for a young person having a line manager who isn't a teacher. You, you must see students in a completely different light to what their teachers would see. So yeah. what, what's that like for you when you go away and think, you know, I, I was working with young people today and, you know, and, and it really changed my perspective. What, what's it like for, for you to be working with teenagers? So I used to actually be a science and math teacher myself before I joined this role. Um, but I do see the students in a completely different light compared to what I saw them in school. Um, but it is inspiring just um, even talking to them, just getting to know them a little bit, getting to know um, what their interests are and their reasons behind why they want to work. So some of them, they may want to work for the money, but then some of them, the parents want them to work just to foster the sense of independence because all of us would have worked as teenagers. And I know before the laws didn't permit that here, but now the laws are allowing it to happen here. Um, so I think it's great because most of them, many of them, they won't go to university in the UAE. And when they go to the UK, if they go to the UK, they go to the US, every person works a part-time job there um, while they're in university to help pay for bills. Um, so it is important in that sense that it's preparing them for what's coming. So I know they're really excited about doing their A-levels, about moving out of home, going to university, meeting new people. But then they have to know as well, they have to be prepared for the world of work because essentially if you go to a new country, you're on your own. You don't have your parents there to come pick you up in 15 minutes. And I think this is something that teenagers need to understand as well. That you're going to be on your, that this is preparing you for being on your own and being dependent on yourself. And, and having that sense of accomplishment, what, what is the process for applying? What, what do you expect from a young person when they want to apply? Um, so what I do expect is I want them to send me a re- um, just a resume just so I can go through it and see a little bit about themselves. Um, but one thing as well that I think is really important is the format of the resume because I know myself, I'm very nitpicky with things. So like, so if there's spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, like because when they go on later on in life, these habits follow you. So it's a habit that you have to learn from a young age that everything has to be presentable, um, just building up your, just building up yourself. For example, some people may have a job as a babysitter, but then they can build on it and add on more stuff that wouldn't have previously been there. Um, that so they can add in words just to make it sound like oh that they did a lot more than what they actually did. So it does give you that sense of accomplishment when you when you look back over it and you think oh wow this person did X Y and Z. Even including extracurricular activities because it shows me that they're well able to have a school life balance. So if they were on a team or something, it does show us quite well. Um, But then I do need them to submit the documents which are required for them to legally work for us to apply for the permit. So it would be their visa, their Emirates ID, and their health insurance, and then also their sponsors, visa, Emirates, and Emirates ID. And then we need um, an NOC letter, just seeing the parents give them permission to work here. Um, yeah, and then their passport copies as well. Fantastic. Where can they find you, Rose, if they're wanting to apply? Um, so they can email me on rose at airmaniacs.com. Brilliant. I can't wait to see how young people across the UAE and, of course, Dubai English Speaking College get on. Lots of opportunities if you're watching this and you want to apply to Air Maniacs. You heard it here. You can email Rose directly, or if you want some support, you can contact me and I will help you through that process. Thank you for being with me here today, Rose. It was such a pleasure meeting with you again. Thank you so much, Maria. It was a pleasure talking with you and I can't wait to see you again soon. Super, super. And that brings us to the end of another incredible conversation. Today, we were talking about work experience at Air Maniacs here in Dubai. We met with Rose Butler, who is the operations manager at Air Maniacs Dubai. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at our next Desk Careers Digital Spotlight.